poor. I did sleep till 5.30 today. Oh, my God. I got a lot of shit going on in my personal life, okay? <laughs> That's true. Between, <laughs> between the news and your saga personal right life. right now I'm, happening. I'm overwhelmed. I'm, I'm, it's been very disturbing, <laughs> and I haven't been able to sleep very good, so. <laughs> yeah, well, it's true. I either turn on the news and I look at the France riots, the Israel riots, AI, the Ukraine war. <laughs> or you got to hear about my personal life. Yeah, the life. petrodollar collapse and, and then your personal life. And I'm just like, dear in God. Between, <laughs> I'm sitting there like, what's next? Well, texting, what's next? Listen, if I get a call, <laughs> I'm sorry. I have to take it because yeah. I'm expecting a call from a, okay. a person. All right. Yeah, you're going on a trip. Yes. <laughs> you're going on a trip. Yeah, I'm Four-wheeling excited. trip. Yeah, I'm really excited. Well, not four-wheelers. Buggies. Side by side. Whatever. I'll go on whatever, you know. It'll be a good time. You'll I like need it. To clear my head. Yeah, go out in the woods and stuff, bonfires yeah, and that friends. kind of stuff. That'd yeah, be, I'm excited. It'll be a good time. You'll have a blast. Yeah, I got my boots ready to go mudding. <laughs> you know I like that stuff, though, right? <laughs> I you, do. People, There's a lot that people don't like about me. So one of the things that people don't know about me is that I like to secretly watch the Barrett Jackson hook <laughs> shit. Do you really? <laughs> yes. I like that. I used to do it a long time ago. All the time. I loved it. Loved it, loved it, loved it. Yeah. That's so, with all the big cars. Yeah. Expensive cars that they have. It's, it's, uh, it's fun to watch. Some of them cars are ridiculous. Yeah. Them people pay for them. It is fun to watch. It is. Like, I'd like, like to go to one of those. I would like to go watch yeah. one of those. Can you do that? Can you, yeah. can you go and just watch uh-huh. the auction? Yeah, you I can. I would love to do that. That'd be fun. Yes, I'm but It depends on where they have them. I think they have them all over the place, though. Yeah. Like the, one I, the last one I saw, I think, was in oh. Vegas, maybe. I can't remember where it was. Hmm. But they had like the old Mustangs and yeah, you know, old Porsches and you know, Camaros. I like three. I like four wheeling, three wheeling. Well, yeah, I you like did that when bikes. we were kids. I like motorcycles. Yep, you did that when you we know, were kids. You know, I've even thought about going to get a motorcycle license. But you can do that. It's a, it's a it's fun. But I don't I did have it. a motorcycle. I might Rob have mine. to ask Dave Weimer if I can borrow one of his. <laughs> Rob mine. <laughs> He's got about a hundred of them. <laughs> They're fun. But the class is fun. Like, I took the class over at AC, and they give these little 250s. They're tiny. Really? Uh-huh. And they teach you how to Could ride them. you em. see me riding one? I, I think you do well. I think so, too. I think you do really well. And it's a blast because everybody's in there for the same reason. I think I would do okay. Yeah, everybody's in there for the same reason, you know, to get their motorcycle license. And it's just a lot of fun. I mean, there's very little book work because once you're done the class – you just go hand that certificate to the MVA, yeah, and they give you your license. Yeah, you don't have to take a test. You don't have to do any of that because huh. you took that class. But a lot of that class is just riding that bike and like doing figure do eights it. and oh yeah, it's fun. <laughs> it is a blast. I'm gonna have to practice though. Yeah, you can. Like I'd put you on mine. Mine's real light. The one I have. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they're they're a good time. I love them. I may do that. <clears throat> I mean, it makes me nervous. So I'm getting a little bit trying to do things I haven't done before. How's that? Or go back to things you used to do. Yeah, the things that used to make that's me. That's what happy. I did. Like yeah. that's why I have a motorcycle because so, you and I grew up with dirt bikes. Yeah, we so grew up I'm with them. Excited about this weekend, you know. And then uh, clear my head a bit. It'll be a good time. I think it will. It'll Maybe. be fun. Give me some relief. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> My soap opera. All the gentlemen callers you have. That's not true. Okay, people, that is, no, that's not true. All right, now, uh, let's rephrase that. No. All the people, all the men that would like to date my sister, because no. there are a bunch. No. <laughs> there are a bunch. No. Oh, let me tell you, uh, you have no idea. Let me tell you, no. at work, at work, they're like, is that your sister? And I was like, yeah. Oh, my God. Whatever. I'm not kidding. No, these I am not. One guy had you I on his not, desktop. No, uh, I kid you listen, not. I don't know what these people are seeing, but it's definitely something that I'm not seeing. Okay, I'm not kidding. Because I do not. See, you know how I am. I'm a very humble person. I don't see myself like that. Well, true. But, I mean, you're pretty. That's why men freaking. Well, thanks, Phil. That's why men uh, try to contact you. And then I'm smart too. So then that's what scares them all away. That's probably true. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, oh, she's so pretty. But then she went, oh, and now I was done. I couldn't take no more. <laughs> she started talking. And I was like, oh. Some people can't handle 
looks and brains. <laughs> right? That's it's true. It's true. And That's... I have a tendency to say what's on my mind. Yeah, some men can't handle that. And it really that. does. Sometimes it's not good. But some men just want a woman that just I sits just, there and is quiet. I can't do that. That is so not well, me. Well, no shit. I know you. I grew <laughs> up with you. You know? And sometimes I say things I shouldn't say. <laughs> nah. Nah. I will I say just this. Get it all out. I, I will say this. I'm so happy that the f bomb isn't every other word now. I know that was stress from work. <laughs> I well, so and I worked happy. with men for 14 years, and it just rubbed right off. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah I, I can agree with that. Yeah. Yeah, it is. That's true. Horrible. <laughs> I'm working on it. That's one of the things I used to tell. I'm working on a social life because I've had zero social life. That's true. That's very Absolutely true. Absolutely zero. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to be a better friend. Yep. I'm trying to start doing things that make me happy again. Mm. I have the same issues. I'm you trying do. not to cuss as much. Okay, oh, giving it up know completely. Funny? I used to tell that's never gonna happen <laughs> I told because you. when I get mad, it just or when I start getting frustrated. <laughs> nope, forget I told, it. I told you, Lisa. Right, we were at mom's, and we, what was it? I was here, meet Sharon. <laughs> She's like, all right. I go, Sharon's coming. She's like, okay. I go, do me a favor. She goes, what's that? I went, count how many times she drops the F bomb. <laughs> <laughs> she went, what? I went, I'm serious. It's I go, horrible. I go, if you can count them all, I go, I will be impressed. Because <laughs> there's going to be a and lot. And that's when I was still working. So yep. there were lots of F bombs. <laughs> she was like, that... I quit counting. I quit counting. Oh, my God. <laughs> that's true. I have the same problem you have with the friend thing because I'm so used to being alone that Yes, I have, I'm I have used a problem to being alone all the time, mm-hmm. going to work, coming home. Yep. That's it. That's I mean, all like, I've done. In like my own little bubble. So I'm really trying to. Yeah, I have the same issue you do. I think it's our you generation. Know, get out there a little more. And it's hard for me because I'm not used to it. So sometimes I have to force myself. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Plus, you've been busy. I mean, you, you had two daughters, <laughs> you know what I mean? And working full time forever. Yeah. You didn't have time for nothing. No. Now you do. Yeah. That's why I'm a big proponent in having kids when you're young. Because that way, like imagine if you had just had kids when you were 40. No. You imagine that? No. Or in your late, mid to late 30s. thank you. Nope. Yeah, mid to late 30s having children. I'm really happy because now I have my life to do what I wanted. Yeah, and you're still young. Yes. You know what I mean? You're not. No, I feel. Well, we everybody feels. Well, we all feel that way, but that's not true. But. Um, But I'm thankful that I was in my 20s. One day you'll look back on a picture of you today and go, wow, look how young I was there. Yeah, right? Think of that. I will say this, though. Like, I'm in my late 40s. I'm 48. So I would say that this time right now is the best my life has been. Yeah, me too right now. I will 100%. Even though, yeah. I mean, I'm given a, you know, take out social stuff. Yeah, but, <laughs> even though I'm unhappy in a certain area yeah, right certain now. Areas, but, but yeah. I would say overall, this is the best. Like, I don't struggle for really anything anymore. No, me neither. You know, uh, we both have homes. We both don't have to worry about um, going to the market and having enough money. Yeah. Where at a lot of times in our life, we did. You, you know? don't have to worry about money. You don't have to worry about, the mo- about money. You don't have to worry about... A lot of the stressors that I had when I was younger, which was just working and having money to live and survive, I don't have that problem. No. I haven't had that problem for a long time. No. And I do think that if you have your children young, like we did in our 20s, that when you turn in your 40s, 50s, those two decades are for you, you know, because your kids are grown. Yeah. That's how I feel about you, it, too. You know, and you're still I young enough to go do stuff. I a friend of mine, stuff. I am not a helicopter, like parent never have been never been a i'm not going to be a helicopter grandparent you know i'm just not built that way yeah and maybe that sounds selfish or whatever but i'm not i my i raise my kids to have their lives i have mine and you know i don't hover no you know and if they need and it works out just fine yeah and if they need you they ask you yeah you know they'll ask yeah and but it's one of those things too like you and i weren't raised where you know at least I don't, yeah, we weren't where everything we ever wanted was there. That never happened. Well, and our parents were never around. So maybe that's why I'm not yeah, they like were never, that too. Like I remember dad. You know what I mean? Our parents were, they were, they were not, busy. They, they were too busy they, doing they, their own thing. Yeah. So maybe that's why I am the way I am. You too. know, you know, mm-hmm. so I think that, yeah, but I, I 100% think that you should definitely, like, when you have children, it should be at a younger age. 
even though it's such a struggle financially at a younger age, yeah. it is, it's much easier. You'll have a lot more money when you're, you know, in your mid thirties <laughs> and you have kids. But again, when you have children, you have no money, none, zero. It yeah, is all it. gone. You're never going to save it. Unless you are a millionaire, you're not having any money. No. It's just not going to happen. Mm-mm. So I will say that I, right now, how I am in my forties, because Noah's 21. And you have a nice, <clears throat> wonderful girlfriend yeah, now. She's I a really, wonderful person. She totally is. She's, she's totally for you. She, she is so nice that it's, you know, just a good hearted person. I'm glad somebody does. <laughs> <laughs> Which is totally opposite. Well, I can't say that. My does. sister's got a big heart, but she'll let you know about it. <laughs> Glad somebody has a part together. Well, that'll happen. Be patient. Um, but yeah, I do think that now is the best time ever in my life. I do. I believe that. Mm-hmm. You know, I've and it, after forty eight years, I kind of figured myself out too because that took a long time. Well, yeah, me too. A, a lot long time. of self analyzing. Yep, a long time to become a better person and to find out why I am the way I am and mm-hmm. what makes me happy. Yep. Yeah, it's really important. So, like, and I feel like the older we get, like, you know, you don't have a lot of time to waste anymore. You know, you don't. Mm-mm. So it's like. You know, I feel like if you're going to do something, you do it 100%. If you're going to love somebody, you love them 100%. 100%. If you're going to, you know, go on a trip, you go and you have 100% and have good time. Put your whole self in it. Yep. Experience it. You don't half ass. The best. We get that from dad. Half assing. We got that from dad. What, the half assing? No, telling us not to half ass nothing. Because that was my entire life. Half assing is what wastes a lot of time. Yep. And I've learned, you know, sometimes I got to do things that make me happy that might not make other people around me very happy. Yes. But what really matters is my happiness. And, and Correct. You can be selfish that way. You have to be. You can't live or your life for wa- other people. you're wasting your freaking life. Yeah. I said it. I almost said yeah. the bomb. Did you catch it? <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, but no, I agree with that. Like, Are you serious? Somebody had my face on their... Yeah, well, he was fucking with me. Okay, because I'm like, that's what? all. That's weird. He was messing with me, because that's what we do at work. We mess with each other really bad. It's very strange. But yeah, everyone, because <clears throat> nobody knew I had a sister, right? And the next thing you know, you get a Facebook account. They'd pull up Merlin, and then well, <laughs> there you we know, are. I haven't put anything on Facebook in so long, right? Well, and then or they got you on. You know, I've had a few people, who, you know, one or two say something about a uh, post, a picture, or whatever. Or I did, and I'm like. You know what, people? I haven't posted in so long. People probably don't even know I'm alive yeah. anymore. Or and honestly, now I've had people reach out to me that I haven't heard from in so long. So I'm glad. Oh yeah, it's. A, I you think know? social media is and awesome. I think that's for that. how you communicate mm-hmm. today. It is. And I, you know, that's new to me mm-hmm. because I've never been real big on that stuff. Only for business and yeah. advertising. Because you haven't had time. You, but I've never. It wasn't a priority. No, your never social was, life wasn't a priority. Never was. No, it wasn't. And it's like you know, and I can recluse and go, and go back to my old self real easy, where I just sit at home and don't talk to anybody. But you know, I'm getting too old for that. <laughs> yeah, Life's right? too short, and I don't want to be alone forever. Yeah, like dad. I don't want to be that. Yeah, I don't either. So, what was I going to say? Oh, so I know how. And the big one that I saw. Yeah. You want to know the picture they actually had? Do no. so you remember when we went to the snowball and we were dressed up yes. and we, you and I got a picture no. together? So they took that picture, cut me off, and <laughs> stuck it on the computer. That's why I'm, and they were just messing with me. But none of them knew I had a sister. They were like, who is that? I'm like, that's my sister. You got a sister? That's your sister? And I was like, <laughs> yeah. Oh, dear Lord. Well, everybody knows I have a brother. Like, all my friends know that. Really? Yeah. Well, they didn't know that at work. I don't tell them any of that, you know? They just don't. <laughs> I've been around them 20 years. They don't know. They just don't. But, yeah. Huh. So, I, I will say that you, the problem that I had that you have now, so I was working two jobs, and Noah turned 13, mm-hmm. and he was coming every weekend. Yeah. I, like, I would get him every weekend, so I had no social life. Yeah. And then he changed, right? He didn't want to be shuffled around like a piece of luggage anymore, which I didn't blame him. Right. <clears throat> and, uh... So then he started staying at his mother's and then I would just call, hey, can, you know, whenever or whenever he would request to see me, then I would go get him. So then at that point is when I realized I didn't have a life. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, when I stopped working, 
and well, stop full time seven day a week job. Yeah, because I still work. Mm-hmm. But you know, it was like I really went through some mental health for a while. It was like a month or two of decompressing and and feeling like you know you almost feel like somebody died like you lost you know that part that you worked so hard for is gone now what do you do yeah there's nobody at home mm-hmm. me and my dogs i'm like yep you know it was it was a shock for me to it is a, it is to. a shock and then i'm like <clears throat> slowly you know my friend wendy and i have been talking a lot and doing some things together, going to lunch with you guys yeah. once a week, mm-hmm. you know, trying to meet people. Yeah. And I feel a little better there. I think, uh, yeah. Because so I'm not a, I don't like to go party and drink all the time. I don't either. But I do think that, <clears throat> like, the situations that we're both talking about, even though they're, they're the generalized, they're the same, but they are kind of different. I think it's everybody. Yeah. I don't think it's just us. Like when them kids leave, grown up, and you know you're still. At some a, people aren't though. Some people just are those grandmothers and grandfathers that just are over at their kids' house every day. I can't do that. I can't do it either. It's I never do that. happening. So don't worry, girls. I'm never going to do that to you. Yeah, I couldn't do never that. Never going to do that to you. No, I couldn't do that. But I, I think it's a big thing, at least for our generation. Like now, being a hey, raised kids and. Now we're old enough to go do what we want. I think the majority are like us. So now, you know, my life is everybody's priority trying to find me a boyfriend. (laughs) Yeah, right. As we all know, we talk about it all the time. It's so annoying. We do. So annoying. And it it annoys me to death. That's And. Well, that's because my nieces don't have the same taste as you. (laughs) When in men. Not even close. No, not even don't. close. Not no. even close. No, I need this driven man. <laughs> I know. I need somebody who likes to get up at the crack of dawn. Go do shit. Go work out. Yep. Work, you know, somebody ambitious. Yeah, that's true. How's that? Yeah, I agree with you. I do. That's all I can say. <laughs> give me, don't get me going. Oh shit, that makes me laugh. Yeah, you know. I know. <clears throat> yep. Hey townies, my name's Philip, and you're watching the Mountain City Show. Hey, if you could go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button, it doesn't cost you anything, it's free. And don't forget to click the bell. The bell? Yeah. What's the bell? Bell notifies them every time we have a new video. So make sure you click the bell. It's free, <laughs> it costs you nothing. Thanks, everybody.